Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at my Dark Rapidash deck. Pretty much the idea of this deck is we are using Hydreigon with Rapidash. So the idea is we go Liberhorn on a VMAX or a tag team. And, you know, put damage on until its HP is 100. And then we come in with a big crazy clause, which can do over a thousand damage to the Pokemon that we Liberhorn to, which is really cool. So there's, yeah, it's a pretty cool synergy we have going on with Liberhorn and Sableye. And that is what we are going to be using today in today's video. We have some other support Pokemon. We have a Guzzlord in the deck. Uh, Red Banquet can do 120. So if you Liberhorn a Pokemon and then you can Red Banquet it, sometimes you can take that extra prize card to win the game. So that's kind of cool. So there's some synergy with Guzzlord and Rapidash. Then I'm also playing Umbreon Darkrai with Black Lance, which also can go through them. And it's a nice attacker to have too. Um, we have Dark Moon as like another big attack we have. So this is what I'm playing for my Dark Rapidash list. So forget the video guys, of course, show too, the sponsor Card Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack outs, get them over at Card Cabin. Card Cabin sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys want to pick up any set code like Battle Styles, Shiny Fates, Vivid Voltage, Sword Shield, or any other uh, set code, get them over there. Or if you are looking for a specific theme deck or promo code or ETB code, sleeve code, whatever you're looking for, get them over at Card Cabin. And of course, guys, if you do get any codes over at Card Cabin at the checkout, you can use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your purchase at the checkout. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up our Card Cabin. So shout out Card Cabin, check them out, use code LDF, if you get any codes over there. All right, now let's look at the list. So yeah, this is what I'm playing for the list here. Um, again, Hydreigon is how we power for our Pokemon. To be fair, Rapidash and Sableye only need two energy to attack, which is pretty beneficial. Sometimes you can go Rapidash before you even put Hydreigon in play, which is pretty nice. Instead of having to like Hydreigon first to get your Rapidash online, you can actually get Rapidash before you Hydreigon. And then as long as you're able to get Hydreigon in play by the time you're ready to go with a big crazy claws, you know, you're big chillin'. Depending on how that PDCGO RNG ends up playing out for you. And again, we have those other attackers like Guzzlord. Um, you know, it could be good against Mad Party too. But again, mainly if you go Liberhorn, you can finish the game off with a Red Banquet. We have that Umbreon Dark Rise or other backup attacker. I don't really know any other like backup attackers we could have played in here that were really that good. The only other card I maybe want to add is an Ordinary Rod to get back your Sableye Rapidash. Or maybe even like a couple copies or not a couple, like maybe an extra like Rapidash or like a Sableye. Like those are the only cards I'd add is like an extra like attacker. Um, but to be fair, other than that, this is what I'm rocked with here. I got some Dedenne and Crobat for draw. Uh, I got the 4-4 Hydreigon. I always just go 4-4 Hydreigon whenever I play Hydreigon because we're playing a stage two deck. And, um, you know, to find stage twos, it's usually a pain in the butt. So sometimes we need to play a 4-4 line of Hydreigon to try to make sure it's going to be in our hand alongside Rare Candy. I am playing Skyla to kind of go with that, though, to make it a little bit easier to find the Rare Candy Hydreigon because we can play Skyla for Rare Candy. And then if we have a Dedenne or Crobat, we can use that as kind of our, like, pseudo draw card for the turn, uh, which is kind of neat. Um, I wouldn't mind maybe playing a Bird Keeper. It's another card I maybe wouldn't mind adding because after we go Liberhorn, we do have to move into the Sableye or after we go Sableye, we usually want to move into Rapidash. So that's why having a Bird Keeper might not be bad. We can hard retreat though. We do have Energy Retrieval, which I play two of. A Training Cord or two might not be terrible either. There's definitely some other cards you could add in here, but this is what I'm rocking with for my baseline list. I am playing a few Cave of Toughnesses just to give Rapidash and Sableye more HP. Uh, they're both, well, Sableye in specific is very frail. It's only got 170 HP. So we have a Cape on it just to try to give it a bit more HP to let it survive a hit, especially if it can get knocked out after we've done a big crazy Claws KO. And also giving Rapidash that extra HP is pretty nice. Just let your Rapidash live a little bit longer. Just make it harder for your opponent to take those prizes i think is very important that's why we're rocking with that that's the list i'm playing so try it out and see if we can win some matches with rapidash hydreigon or dark rapidash or whatever you want to call it in the first match with the hydreigon rapidash deck we have lost the coin flip here and we are going to be going second still and okay okay wow i mean if we need a basic i mean we got him if we need to get a basic down we do have one here and we got, in fact, three basics. Actually, I actually don't even think we could play all three Quick Balls. Well, maybe. We'll see what we're playing against. We could also hold the hand and use a Quick Ball for a Crobat. Try to get a Hydreigon down so we can set up our little Rapidash combo here. My opponent was an Air Balloon on their Snom. So they're playing a Frost Moth. We'll see what their partner is. Looking likely it's a Blastoise VMAX deck. Um, maybe. I mean, they have Cricketune. They're probably playing Rose. I don't know. We'll see if it's Blastoise. If it's Intalion, we have to hide our Mew. Okay, they got a triple Snom turn one. I mean, well, now they're, like, almost bench locked. I was actually... I don't know if I would have done that, because, like... Okay, that, yeah, it is Blastoise. That's fine. We can beat Blastoise. But... I mean, we knock out their Blastoise VMAX. They won't have another one to work with. They'll have Blastoise V. 
But if we get Cape Bomb, we're vibing. Ooh, my opponent forgot to do exciting stage. LOL. All right, let's just quick ball for the Dino. Rampant Ash is there. Got our Sableyes. All right, cool. Nine energy in the deck. I think that's okay. I think we're just going to research the hand away. I'm just going to... Just going to research here. I do want to play this third quick ball, but like, I kind of want to make sure we move Mew. So I'm just going to put an air balloon on and just play this. See if we get our energy. Well, we're going to be out of boss's order. However, that is not good. We are going to run out of boss. We'll sacrifice a Dino, I think. I don't really want to lose our Mew because they're playing. I mean, like, it's not a really big deal. Blastoise VMAX doesn't really have the greatest attack damaging on our bench. Uh, but I think I'd rather just protect our Pokemon if I can, to be honest. Don't you think I take advantage of Cape of Toughness? That was a pretty bad research. I'm actually kind of hoping we get marnie here because we're going to lose all of our boss's order. So we're going to have to win this game without having any boss in the deck, which is kind of hard. Yeah, just just like a yeah, just just a tiny bit hard trying to win this game without a boss's order. But yeah, I kind of we'll see if we get marnie I hope we do. Either that or we draw Marnie. There we go. Nice. We got to keep our boss. You look at the good how beautiful that is. And this is why I didn't want them to... Like, this is why I wouldn't benchmark myself. Because now they don't have a partner for Grand Falls. Okay, well, that Marnie did give me a dead hand, which... Not good. We might have to load search and get research back. Hmm. Oh, there's rare candy. Damn. Okay, the training court's actually good for us. That's actually a great card to have for us in this matchup. But that Marnie gave me nothing good. Yikes. Love to see it. Okay, how am I going to do this? We'll bench Sableye. Cape of Toughness puts Sableye at 220 HP. So he still goes down in one hit by G-Max Bombard. That's unfortunate. If Sableye could take a hit, that'd be so nice. Because then I could get research back and then survive a turn. Let's cape the Rapidash, I guess. That's 260. He can get one shot. I'm just going to hold the hand. We might have to load search. But I don't want to lose my Dino. This is so bad. If only that Marnie didn't give me a terrible hand, bro. We'll see if they even attack me here. They might not knock me out. Oh, looks like they're going for it. Maybe we should have attached Rapidash, actually. Because we could have went attach Rapidash and then attach the Sableye. And then, okay, we should have attached the Rapidash, actually, last turn. But, I don't know. I should have attached Rapidash. Do we top deck here? Not Rapidash. Okay, can I please draw some cards? Thank you. It would be greatly appreciated, Marnie. All right, Liberhorn. So this thing will get bodied by Sableye, but we're not able to get to the Sableye because we're not drawing very well. Would you look at that? Hmm, not much I can do until we draw something here. I mean, that's so unfortunate. We still have Crobat in the deck. I'm really hoping we get a top deck here because we're in a pretty good spot. If we can knock out their Blastoise here, I'm feeling pretty good about our, uh, about our spot, but not looking good. That is not what we're looking for. All right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do a load search here. Not much I can do about that. So what happens when you uh, play PDCGO? You get dead hands. I'm just gonna grab research. I would grab Quick Ball for Crobat. I'm just gonna play it safe and grab the research. Like I don't really care at this point. I just want to do something. We need to find our other Sableye next turn. I guess we could go Dumbrey on Darkrai. Instead of crate, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what my opponent does here. I guess she max bombard. Don't try to knock out Blastoise. Yeah, it's unfortunate we had a sack or Sableye like that, but I mean, hey, it is what it is. Good thing Rabbit Ash had a one retreat cost, though. That is pretty nice. That's a one retreat cost. Okay, we top deck here. Ooh, well, we drew the Crobat. We can attempt to play it here, which I mean, I guess. I guess. We could get Hydreigon off of this one time. This game, I'm telling you. This game. I probably just have to Marnie here. They have a massive hand. But Marnie's not going to get me Rare Candy Hydreigon. Neither is this research. But we're going to play the research, I think. We have to try to get, like, an attack off this turn. There we go. Okay, we actually did get the Sableye. Hmm. However, I don't think it's the right play. I think the better play is to go Umbra on Darkrai because it can survive a hit from Blast from a Blastoise V. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to go Umbreon. Dark. I want to go Sableye, bro. Crazy Claws are doing so much damage, but we can save the Crazy Claws for a rainy day. Right? We'll save it for a rainy day. We'll save it. Hopefully, we have more. Yeah. Hopefully, we have more supporters or something. That'd be nice. Put the energy out, I guess. Uh, well, Black Lance first. There's no target to hit, unfortunately, but that's fine. We knock out their Blastoise. Crazy Claws would have been kind of cool. We would have been doing so much damage, but again, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna play a little bit safe. Uh, there's a Calm, there's an Air Balloon, and we get a Dino. None of them are really that useful. All right, well, let's see what my opponent does here. I'm hoping we still have something in the deck. I think we have a Dedenne. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, there's the Blastoise. I mean, they don't have a Frost Moth in play, but like their hand's so big, there's no way they don't have an attack here. So I was like, there's no way I'm gonna go Crobat. Well, actually, you know what? To be fair, my opponent might just win in a couple turns. Okay, there's a Marnie. That's fine. That hopefully gives me a better shot of drawing stuff. I maybe should have been to Sableye, though. No, I didn't know there was a Marnie coming, though. Okay, if they whip the attack here, we can uh, Lieberhorn. Okay, they did whip the attack. Look at that. Okay, so we can go Balloon. Um, We can also just knock out Snom. We don't have a way to win the game on the following turn, though. My problem. We could just go Lieberhorn here on the Blastoise. I mean, it ha- But, like, they'll just knock me out with Water Gun. Oh, actually, they can't. They have to do Torrental Cannon on my Ninetales. Or my Rapidash, my Ninetales. I mean, I guess we can go knock out this thing. And we can just win the game by, like, KOing one of the Snoms or whatever with Darkrai. We still have Dark Moon to work for, too. There is the possibility for that. I actually guess we'll go for the Lieberhorn play and make him have to get a Frost Moth Torrental Cannon off. Yeah, that's fine. They can't evolve this now, and they can't bench on the Blastoise. This kind of puts a bit of pressure on them. We can Skyla for boss. We could Marnie them again. I don't really... I mean, they, that Marnie they did last turn didn't really give them much. Clearly, they didn't get the Frost Moth, so there's no really point of Marnie them a second time. I think we just hold the hand. Um, eh, we could play the Sky. There's no reason not to. I can, eh, that can turn into like a Dedenne or something. I think we just... We just Lieberhorn. Just hit the Blastoise here. Now they can't evolve it. Well, no, they can't evolve it, but that's fine. We can still knock it out with Crazy Claws. So, like, just putting the damage on it is still relevant anyways. It's like if they get the Frost Moth KO on me, we kill them with Darkrai. Um, maybe we even try to Dark Moon this so that this way they can't really do anything. If we Dark Moon them, it's, like, impossible for them to even KO my Darkrai in return. So I don't think they have a way to deal with Darkrai if we knock out their Blastoise, if they knock out my Rapidash here. But it's still going to be hard for them anyways. Um, if I Dark Moon them. Ooh, they're losing two boss. That's really good. Okay, they found the Frost Moth, finally. Will they find an energy, though? They have none of the discard. They probably do find it. Ooh. All right, yo, they actually going to put the VMAX in play? Let's go. All right, all we need to do now is just go Sableye V to win the game. Or Dark Moon. Maybe now I wish I did play the Skyla. I guess we should have played it, but I don't know. It was like if they do Marnie or Stammy, we can play Skyla to get like a, a Pokemon search card to like draw cards. But maybe we should have just played the Skyla for like a, another quick ball. Now we have to play Marnie and hope Marnie doesn't brick us. To be fair though, they are down two boss, so it's pretty unlikely they can win the game the following turn. They might not even attack me here. Like, well, they probably have to, right? But they knock me out. We, just, we can win with Crazy Claws or we can try to win with a Dark Moon. They shouldn't have evolved, but it is what it is for my opponent. Now to see if they have a boss left in the deck, or if they can even find it. All right. We'll see what happens. We can still win this game. I'll try to win with Crazy Claws. All right, let's see what we draw. E-Retrieval. Okay, now we're just one energy short of winning. We can win with Dark Moon. Oh, no, wait. Can we Skyla? Do we have a Quick Ball in the deck? Oh, we can go for it. All right, we got him. Yep, that's game. That's game. We're just going to go quick ball away Marnie or the Sableye. That's game. We can just, yeah, do this instead. I forgot. We can just uh, sky level the quick ball. I, it was risky, though, because I didn't know if the quick ball is prized or not. I didn't want to take that risk. But I was like, yeah, we might as well go for it because Crazy Claws is going to do a lot of damage here. 730 damage to this poor Blastoise VMAX. Getting absolutely slayed by the Sableye. And there we go. Beating Blastoise VMAX. I, I mean, if my opponent didn't evolve, I guess, like, it wouldn't have made a difference. But, like, I mean, them evolving was like, all right, all we need to do is go Sableye. And it looks like we probably would have had the Dark Moon because we had the Energy Retrieval. And then we just needed to find one Dark Energy out of our deck to win with Dark Moon. Even if my opponent, 
you know, even if we didn't win, my point is just need to find boss to win, and they might not have had a boss. All right, get another match. We have lost the coin flip here, but now my point's generous. They're letting us go first. How nice of you. Ooh, we got our Ombre on Darkrai start. Not the greatest, but we got Air Balloon. This hand's actually not that bad, to be honest. Um, that was a really good top deck. So we're playing against a Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team deck. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to call him Hydreigon. I do want to get a Rapidash down this turn if I can. Uh, so I think I'm just going to grab Rapidash here. And just attach to it. Because we're probably going to, like, maybe Dedenne next turn. Yeah. Make sure we get that on. Um... We could retreat. Eh, I don't think it really matters if we retreat or not. I don't think they play Tool Scrap, but they could play Tool Jammer. That's not, that's super unlikely, though. I think I just pass. I don't think... We'll, we'll keep the Umbra and Dark Knight in the active. The only negative to this is they could, like, Horror House me, but that I don't think matters because we have two cards in our hand, so... I think it's fine to leave Umbra and Dark Knight. Plus, we have a Resistance to Psychic. I don't think it makes a difference. Um... We'll see how it goes. We need to get the we get we get the uh, dark ride down. We should be chilling. We can go Lieberhorn next turn as long as they're not playing Crushing Hammer. Yeah, there's the Gengar Mimikyu. I don't know if Horror House is really the correct play though. Turn one for my opponent it doesn't really put him very far in this matchup. Especially when we have a two card hand. Yeah, I don't really think they. I think in Marnie Horror House. Oh, never mind. That's not gonna happen now. There, uh, Guzmahala. Yeah, we'll see what they grab here. So we want to go. Quick ball for Crobat, and then we'll Libra Horn, hopefully, and then go from there and try to get into a Sableye the following turn and knock out the Mewtwo. We could also knock him out with Black Lance. This is actually a matchup where Black Lance is pretty useful, because uh, it is a uh, GX-focused deck, so that's not bad. I mean, we'll see if they do Horror House. I, I don't think it's correct to Horror House here, but we'll see what happens. I mean, I hope they don't. If they do Horror House, we can Libra Horn them. Oh, they have a Malana, so we have to Marnie them. So I'm not going to go Crobat. I'm going to Marnie them. Well, we can still Crobat and hold the Marnie, I guess. Um, we can Quick Ball our top deck. Yeah, we're going to have to Marnie because they do play Malana, which kind of disrupts our Liberhorn. Not really, though, especially when they put a big charm on. They actually give them more HP, which kind of helps our Sableye a little bit, which is kind of funny. I might just go, like, Liberhorn, Sableye, and then, like, maybe try to Dark Moon for game or something. I mean, the Jirachi is a nice little target for Black Lance. Yeah, they're going to start search. I was going to say, because doing Horror House there would make no sense. They can Horror House me the following turn, though, which is a little annoying. All right, what do we draw? We drew it, didn't I? All right, yeah, definitely going to Marnie here. We're going to Quick Ball for Crobat. We get here. Hmm. We can get the Hydreigon in play. I do, again, I want to Marnie them. I, plus, they have all those tag teams. They have a lot of GXs in their hand. So, actually, Marnie, yeah, Marnie's just better here, I think. We can get Zwilus if it's in the deck. Oh, because we're, we're, I think we have to Marnie here. Yeah. We have to Marnie because they just, they have a lot of stuff in their hand. They have, what, two or three tag teams in their hand. So, I think Marnie's correct. Bench that, I guess, and then just Marnie. Probably could have been to the other Dino, to be honest. They could boss KO it. We'll see, though. No, we whiffed the energy. Oh, that means we have the Dedene, bro. Whiffing the energy is not what we want to be seen. That's unfortunate. We have the Dedene, the hand away. Uh, How much I could do? Does look pretty bad, I think. What? We still whiffed an energy? What? Bro, no freaking way. What the actual heck? Bro, no way. Wow. Okay, well. I mean... Well, great standard format. Can't think they can one-shot my Rapidash, so... We don't even have a way to get energy next turn, because we have a Skyla in our hand. Bro, I can't believe we didn't get energy there. I maybe should have just attached the air balloon. They might horror house me. I don't know. They're probably going to night watch me. Bro, that sucks. That's... We went Crobat, Marnie, to Dene, and we somehow didn't find an energy. I, like, I'm not saying we needed... We're getting Hydreigon, but... At least give me a friggin' energy. Yeah, now they're going to boss my Zwilus. Dang, bro. That's so silly. We could still draw an energy, though, and then still go and... Like, it's not over yet, but... Bro, that, like... That puts us so far behind in this match. Oh, they're going to tag purge. Well, I guess they can't do Nightwatch. Never mind. 
All right, here we go. Let's see we top deck. Can we please get an energy? As it is, we are one card off. Not that coming. To be fair, we could hold the hand because we have the Barricania Hydreigon. Um, they can Miraculous Duo, but they can't one-shot me, though. I don't think Liberhorn activates Horror Energy, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. We can hold... They, they might Night Watch me. But, like, we can hold the hand here because we do have um, Skyla for Rare Candy. They knock If they do knock me out, we can go Crazy Claws because we have the E-Retrieval. But they could kill me with Night Watch. So I don't want to play any cards if they do, if they do Night Watch me here. I'm just going to Liberhorn them, get the 200 damage on them. Because, like... If they Night Watch me, if we play the Air Balloon down, the Night Watch has a higher chance of hitting, like, a a better hit card. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just probably safe. Okay, they're going to Outrage KO me, which is fine. Because then we just Crazy Claws knock them out. Then we got to figure out a way to win from there. But we are going to get three prizes, so we should hopefully get something. But it looks like we might get... Du but they Miraculous Duo, they can't one-shot me. Unless they have a Goon in their deck, which I don't think they do. So, I mean, they can Duo all they want. No, they're going to Outrage me. Okay, so now we KO them. Hold on, does Tag Purge prevent Dark Moon? Prevent all damage? No, so we can still Dark Moon, Jim. Okay. Last talk would be a supporter. Energy's not bad. I'll take it. We got the Skyla for Rare Candy here. Yeah. This is fine. We can KO them with Crazy Claws. We're doing a ton of damage, too. I mean, I don't think they can respond with a KO of their own, right? So we should be okay. Should be okay. Keyword should. We could knock them out Black Lance, too. Um... I think we do just go Crazy Claws. Because then we can, like, fall back. If they don't do anything, we just fall back on, like, a load surge. Yeah. One of the big things I want to get going is I want to try... Like, we might have to win with, like, Dark Moon or something. Yeah, Crazy Claws. We're doing a ton of damage. 1,200 damage with Crazy Claws. Oh, my God. That combo's actually insane. And they can see the match. Let's go. That was such a stressful game. We had a lot of, like... Yeah, it was unlucky. We whipped energy... Fell behind a turn, killed my Zwilus, but 1,200 damage with Crazy Claws and Libra Horn. Now that's what I'm talking about. All right, getting into another match with the Rapidash. Dark, Dark Rapidash? Yeah, Dark Rapidash. Let's go. Unfortunately, it looks like we hit an ADP deck, so we'll have to see if we can beat ADP. It's possible, but it's not easy. Best way to put it. I think my best strategy would be Libra Horn. And maybe KOing them with Guzzlord actually might be the play. Because we can knock out the ADP, and then we can knock out... Okay, they're playing Reshiram. Never mind, I was way off. Okay, um... Alright. I think I just hold the hand, right? Yeah. I don't think they can KO Rapidash. They would have to have, like... No, I actually... No, there, there's no way they can... They'd have to play, like, Ends Resolve or something to knock me out. But they also have to put energy on the active. So I'm pretty sure Rapidash is safe this turn. I'm pretty sure Rapidash is safe. Yeah, I don't think they can... Oh, they could find a switch. No, doesn't, doesn't people play personally work on the bench? Ooh, they got no energy and they just lost half of their main cards, including their Coco. Yeah, it's something on the bench. Yeah. That, ah, oh, I feel so bad, bro. That's such a bad end resolve. They literally just lost half the most important card. They lost Volk, a Mewtwo, which doesn't really make a difference. The big thing is they lost that Coco. Kind of feel bad, bro. Trust me. That that PDC Joe... PDC Joe RNG do be thick, though. Do be thick. It do be thick. Um, Unfortunately, Cave doesn't give Rapidash enough HP to take a hit from Reshiram. Okay. No Volk. Sableye. We'll bench it. Balloon it. We'll Marnie. Gotta pray for an energy at the very least. All right. Oh, so close. Oh, we got Zwilus. That's not bad. I was like, oh, so close to Hydreigon, but... Got the double-headed boy here. That's why I always play a stage one in your deck, because you can never trust PDC Geo's draws. They never give you what you're looking for. I'll right, put 107 damage on. If Rapidash can live another turn, I think I'm gonna do another Fable Flare Bolt. Another another Libra Horn, sorry, on the Reshiram. Yes, let's go! They whiffed it! They were one energy short of KOing me here. That's actually insane. Let's go, bro. We survived. Did we get do another Libra Horn on the Reshiram? Alright, nice, nice. Well, they could still, um... No, I. they have to play like Turbo Patch. Yeah, that's the only way they can attack me and knock me out is Turbo Patch. They have no other, uh... No other means of attacking me here. Or knocking me out anyways. I guess I can go Heatran, but, like, yeah. No, Fable Flare, but it's for 180. All right, cool. 
That was pretty lucky, not gonna lie. And the fact that they got rid of Coco is even better. Yeah, all right, cool, cool. They're down to boss now too, which is nice. I gotta imagine they felt that bad though. All right. Bench another, yeah, bench this. Why not? A little research. Let's see, what we get here. Let's try Dregan. We got the Umbri on Darkrai, so that, that could also be good in this matchup. Um, I'm gonna quick ball here for another Dino. I was maybe thinking about getting Mew because of a uh, cross break GX, but I think that's okay. No, just Libra Horn. Hit the other Reshi Rom. Now our win con is just knock out the two Reshi Roms to win the game. Like we could have knocked them out there with Sableye. They might not even get a knockout. They have a two card hand. They need an energy here to KO me. They might not have it. I think this is fine though. Because no matter what, we're going to have to knock out the Reshi Roms anyway. So I think this is totally fine. Yeah, yeah. See, it all worked out in the end. It all played out. Yeah, getting the, I think getting the damage on was just too important not to do. I'm fine with I'm fine with this. We we set up our numbers. Now we just gotta just sweep with we just gotta attack twice with crazy claws. It's just like that easy. Just gotta do crazy claws twice. Um I am gonna bench this. This is probably gonna be good in this matchup. A little dark squall. Like we have Sableye and Umbreon Dark right for this. I'm gonna research. I'm not gonna comp for anything. Don't need anything. There's another Hydreigon. Hopefully my opponent doesn't scoop. I do want to attack him. So let's see. We'll get another Dregan down. They can still cross break both of them, but I doubt that'll happen. There's like no way. Then we'll just go with a big fat crazy claws. A thousand damage. <laughs> oh, crazy claws is busted with the rapid ash, bro. It's such an insane, insane combo. All right. There's a calm. So now we have a technical supporter. We just need boss. We have three in the deck still. I think they're all in the deck. If you see him find boss here, and we will win the game next turn by either going Black Lance or Crazy Claws for another 1,000 damage on my opponent's best bench, Rushy Rom. I kind of feel bad. I like their list, though. You know, the Mewtwo, pretty good for the Urshifus and the, Mir the Mewtwo's, and the Volcanians are smart. You know, Andrew Cycle's also pretty clutch, too. I really like my opponent's deck here. I like it a lot. I do actually have a Rushy Rom deck built. That's not, it's not an end resolve deck, and I might do a video on it. Um, might do a video on it soon. I've been meaning to do a video on my, my Reshiram deck soon. I do have a Reshiram deck built, though, that I might make a video on. But I do like my opponent's deck list. I think it's a pretty nice deck list. Seems like a pretty pretty decent list here. My opponent has to promote the Volcanian, I think. But then we just got a Dedenne and try to find boss, and it's game over. We still have three in the deck. That's why I do play a heavy count of boss. Because sometimes you will hit the bench with Liberhorn, and then like the opponent won't use their bench Pokemon that you hit. So that's why I am playing the heavier count of boss's order in the deck. Um, and a great catcher might be good. You can play like two boss, one great catcher. But yeah, that is why I do play the extra boss in the deck. Just for situations like this. Where it's like, we need boss. Because my opponent's not going to give me the restaurant knowing that they're going to get KO'd by Darkrai or Sableye or whatever. That's why it is important to play the three bosses orders. Yeah, I like I like my opponent's list. I really do. I like the list. I rate it. I rate it. It sucks Restaurant only does 270 though. You can't one-shot the Lord and Savior ADP. Who they got? Who they do? Uh, are they playing? What's what's going on? I, I don't even know what the, really their best play is at this point. Yeah, they just yeah. I don't even think they're playing. Um, we're getting close to being able to do Dark Moon GX. So we can work towards that, I guess. I mean, we beat them, kind of. I guess. Even if they attack me, we still probably were winning anyways. Because, all, again, all we really need is just the boss. And they're all there. All three bosses order in the deck. We have 25 cards to work with here. We have no Crobat to play because our bench is locked. So what are the chances we draw into one of our three bosses off of a Dedenne to six with a 25 card deck? Let's find out how does it go. And we got him. And that's why you play a bunch of boss. So even if I wanted, even my opponent was playing there, we still were winning the game anyway. So it doesn't matter if they went AFK or not. But there we go. 1,000 damage on the Reshiram. Sableye, Rapidash, Hydreigon. The funnest of Rapidash. Nah. But that was a fun, that was a fun little match there. And that'll be it for the video, guys. I think on the deck. Um, a lot of fun to play. Um, it's a fun little combo, right? It's a cool combo. There's, you know, I mean, there's a lot of ways to play Rapidash. You know, the Victini deck is kind of blowing up right now. Um, I think Rapidash Urshifu is like a thing. I don't know. There's a lot of ways to play Rapidash. So uh, this is kind of going to add to the mix. Not a super amazing build, but it is fun to play. And doing a ton of damage with Crazy Claws. Doing over a thousand damage with Crazy Claws thanks to Rapidash. It's just a busted combo. So why not try it out? But hope you guys enjoyed today's PTCGO video on this deck.
<laughs> hope you guys enjoyed and if you did make sure to leave a like a video subscribe down below if you're new to the channel help me on the road to reaching 17 thousand subscribers guys I want to thank you guys for all the support on the content recently it's been a little bit dry recently i found um kind of waiting towards uh chilling rain releasing um i haven't really been playing much pcgo like i've been actually playing a lot of sword and shield and the main pokemon and pokemon platinum um i haven't been on pto much but um i'm still getting there so i want to thank you guys for all the support and continued support and growth in the channel kind of throughout this dry stale period before um, chilling rain comes out and i'm excited for chilling rain next friday guy or the, not next friday actually not yeah the friday coming up i will be doing a uh, a little live stream on twitch and uh it may or may not involve some chilling rain stuff so uh keep an eye out for that um next friday anyways thanks for watching hope you enjoyed check out car cavern of course use code ldf if you get any codes and i'll see you guys later